under growing pressure from members of his own party to do more to halt the conflict between Israel and Hamas. President Joe Biden spoke by phone with the Israeli Prime Minister Monday evening. While still expressing support for Israel to defend itself from rocket attacks, a White House statement also said the president expressed his support for a ceasefire and discussed U.S. engagement with Egypt and other partners towards that end. That marks a shift in policy for the administration, which had indicated it would not pressure the two sides for a ceasefire. Earlier in the day, the White House press secretary said the focus was on quiet and intensive diplomacy. Okay. Our objective is to, just like it is with other countries and our partners around the world, is to play the role we can play in the most constructive way possible to bring, to reduce the violence, to de-escalate the situation on the ground, and a great deal of that is going to be through intensive, quiet diplomacy behind the scenes. Still, on Monday, the Biden administration blocked, for a third time, a U.N. Security Council statement that would have expressed grave concern over the worsening violence and loss of civilian lives. While Biden faces a growing chorus of Democrats urging him to call for an immediate ceasefire, Republicans are pressing the president to reaffirm unwavering support for Israel. The United States needs to stand four square behind our ally. And President Biden must remain strong against the growing voices within his own party that create false equivalence between terrorist aggressors and a responsible state defending itself. So far, Israel has resisted efforts by Egypt and other regional players to broker a ceasefire.